My name's Beer Spills, and I'm a wine survivalist. I spent the last two decades traveling through the world's wine regions, using my palate and my wits to get me out of Venus hotspots. From navigating wine lists to avoiding dehydration in little bars, I'll be pushed to my limits each week in a difficult scenario, and be expected to use all my fine wine knowledge to assess the situation and get out alive. One of the first rules of wine survival is knowing where to look. I had a slight anticipation about this place, and look what I came up with. When you've got nasal acuity like beer spills, you can generally sniff out a Bordeaux at 20 paces. You can probably pick up notes of blackcurrant, cedar, cassis and chocolate. Blackcurrant, olive, tobacco and earth. Last night I mislaid my home and I found this very comfortable patch of leaves. Just me and a bottle of Cote de Rhone. That'll do nicely. When you're dehydrated, anything will do. Even just a basic crew class Bordeaux. Make sure if you're at a really boring party, you find the best bottle you can very quiet space like this, and you treat yourself. I had a hunch there would be a gourmet sandwich at the bottom of this bin. Hey presto, I had a bottle of wine. <laughs> there really is no reason not to have the best burgundy glass when you're in the middle of nowhere. And look, a bottle of wine. Bloody hell, I love nature. I'm about 98 points on that. A bit pissed now. Man versus wine with beer spills. Coming soon. Mm. Fucking oxidized.